Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we shall talk about self-reciprocal functions under Fourier transform. So we are, first of all, we shall begin by defining what we mean by self-reciprocal functions under the Fourier transformation and then give some examples and also prove it that the corresponding example that we have given is self-reciprocal. So to start with, we have already seen that the Fourier transform of a function f of x is equal to a function of the parameter s. So it is some capital F of s. But in case, if, if you have a function f of x, which is such that Fourier transform of the function is itself, meaning the Fourier transform of f of x gives you back the same function but in terms of the parameter s then that function f of x is called a self reciprocal function or it is said to be self reciprocal under Fourier transform. It is called a self reciprocal function under Fourier transform or it is referred to be self reciprocal. So the Fourier transform of the function should give you back the same function but in terms of the parameter s. Now very standard example, not all functions or many functions are self reciprocal. The standard example is e power minus x square by 2 is self reciprocal under Fourier transform. Now we shall prove this result in a short while. So it is self reciprocal under Fourier transform. What does it mean? That if you calculate its Fourier transform, then it gives you back the same function but in terms of the parameter s. So what does that mean? Fourier of e to the power minus x square by 2 is nothing but e to the power minus s square by 2. That is what we called it to be. So you are getting back the same function but in terms of s. We shall now prove, take up a problem and prove this result is true. So what understanding self reciprocal functions and then proving it is what this video focuses on. So let me give you the question now. Find the Fourier transform of e to the power minus a square x square. So I am taking a general case where a is positive and hence we shall prove that e to the power minus x square by 2 as we just now said is self reciprocal under or with respect to Fourier transform and we shall also do one more step by using a property hence show that the Fourier transform of x into e to the power minus x square by 2 is is into e to the power minus s square by 2. So there are three parts in this particular question. First part is finding out the Fourier transform. The second part is showing that it is e power minus x square by 2 is self reciprocal. So definitely 2 is obtained from the first part and the third part is to show that the Fourier transform of x into e power minus x square by 2 is given in this manner. So let's begin with the first part. So part 1 I start by finding the Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square. So as the limits of x are not given to us it is understood that the x limits vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. So we have always been starting by checking the nature of the function, then checking the nature of f of x cos is x and f of x sin is x. We shall not do it that way but start off with the definition here because you have a quadratic term in the power of e. So let me start by the definition. Let's see how. So by definition of Fourier transform for f of f of x we know is 1 by root 2 pi e to the power integral minus 2 plus infinity f of x e to the power isx dx. Normally we write e power isx as cos is x and plus i sin is x. We don't do that here. We directly substitute the limits. x limits vary from minus to plus infinity. f of x is 
and exponential term e power a minus a square x square multiplied by the kernel e power isx and then integrated with respect to x. We shall now try to simplify this further by adding the powers and writing the integrand as minus to plus infinity e to the power minus of a square x square. I take out the minus sign because when I add them, I can add because both are exponential terms. And when I take the minus sign, I get minus isx within the bracket dx. Here I use what is called the completion of squares. So I am going to take up in the power, I may perform this method of completion of squares by giving you a formula of this kind. Many of you must be aware of this already. It is I write a square x square minus bx in the form. I am going to write it as a whole square term. So it is ax minus b by 2a the whole square. So it's a square that I am trying to create and I subtract the constant term which is b square by 4a square. So I use this as a formula to write it. Here what happens, what is the capital A and capital B? So if I write it in another color. So here capital A is nothing but small a. You see that? It's a square x square. So if you compare it with a square x square, capital A is small a. And what is capital B? Capital B is the coefficient of x with a negative sign. The negative sign is already there. So what is the coefficient of x here? It is is. The coefficient of x in our formula is I b. So b is equal to is. So using this formula, let's see how we can rewrite the power of e. So the left hand side which is the Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square, don't forget that is equal to 1 by root 2 pi integral minus to plus infinity e to the power. Now keep the minus as it is. Open up a square bracket. Now let us write this right hand side given here. ax minus b by 2a the whole square. So what does that mean? It is nothing but ax minus what is that b? is by 2a that is 2 small a the whole square minus i square s square divided by 4a square. I hope it's understood because I am just replacing b by is and a by a in this particular formula, the formula that I have written. Now if you see i square value, we know it is minus 1. So let us substitute it and simplify. So this becomes here. Now you have i square is minus 1. If I could just rewrite this, this i square is minus 1 here. Minus 1 into this minus is plus 1 plus 1 into this minus is minus. So and this is independent of x because I need to have dx here. I am integrating with respect to x. So in this term is independent of x. So can I take it outside? Yes. So it gives you e power minus s square by 4a square. This is all in the powers. Please note that. So i square is minus 1. Minus 1 into minus is plus. Plus into this minus is minus. So I get minus s square by 4a square which is independent of x, I take it out, I divide it by root 2 pi and then integral that I, what is left as an integrand is e power minus of ax minus is by 2a the whole square dx. I hope that step is clear. I have simplified to revise it. I have simplified i square as minus 1. Minus 1 into minus is plus. Plus into minus is minus. So I pulled out that term as it is independent of x and just kept the x term as it is. Okay. Now let us make a substitution as t. Say let me take t is equal to the term that I have in the power as i a x minus i s by 2 a for further simplification so that d t becomes a times d x. And as x varies from x takes minus infinity, that will imply t also tends to minus infinity. And as x tends to infinity, t will tend to infinity. And therefore, this integral, that is a Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square, can thus be written as e power minus s square by 4a square by root 2 pi. Now the limits are for t. So your t limits here vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. e power minus, we have called that whole term as t. So e power t square minus t square and dx is nothing but dt divided by a from here. So I can take out the a now common. 
because a could be taken outside and uh, you see if i can rewrite what is left in the integrand it is uh, just e power minus t square which means e power instead of writing e power minus s square by 4a square divided by a into root 2 pi i am pulling out the a now what is left t varying from minus infinity to infinity e power minus t square dt we have a very important result integral minus infinity to infinity e power minus t square dt is given to be root pi this formula could be remembered and uh, we shall apply that here in the in the problem and finally see what we get e power minus s square by 4a square by a into root of 2 pi and this integral value is simply reduced by to root pi by our standard formula i cancel out the root pi there and see finally what you get the fourier transform of e power minus a square x square is equal to e power minus s square by 4a square divided by a into root 2 because root pi gets cancelled so this is your f of s this is nothing but your f of s that meaning it's a fourier transform of this so we don't use it again so let me leave it as it is and this is my result for the first part now i have calculated the fourier transform let me call it to be one now what is my part two now i have to show that e power minus x square by two is self reciprocal under fourier transform meaning what should i show under fourier transform meaning that is to show that that is to show that fourier transform of e power minus x square by 2 is giving you back the same function but in terms of s not x so we need to show this result so as i told you that if you have another deduction it is normally based on part 1 so let me go back to part 1 and see if you have some similarities here if you put a value for a square you see in in the first equation so that you get x square by 2 you have a minus you have x square and both are exponential terms so what is our substitution that you may assume a square you can put as 1 by 2 or you put a is equal to 1 by root 2 in 1 that's all that will give you the answer so you see Fourier transform of this becomes e power minus x square by 2 and look at the right side it is e power minus s square by now you are putting a square as 1 by 2 so 4 by 2 is what you get 2 divided by what is the denominator a into root 2 now a is again 1 by root 2 so you have 1 by root 2 into root 2 so that cancels out and what does it finally give you e power minus s square by 2 so haven't you got your result that the Fourier transform of e power minus x square by 2 is equal to e power minus s square by 2 that's the reason why we gave this example for self reciprocal as this shows that e power minus x square by 2 is self reciprocal under Fourier transform a very important uh, expression a function is self reciprocal and not many functions are self reciprocal like this so it's a uh, self reciprocal under Fourier transform which completes our part 2 a very important part this is coming to part 3 we have one more part to do we shall see what we have to show there part 3 is to show that Fourier transform of x into e power minus x square by 2 now you see if we multiply it by x I have to show that it is i s into e power minus s square by 2 so I'll call this result I got in second part as 2 and I'm sure you can recall a property now by a property that we defined in earlier that proper Fourier transform of x power n into f of x is equal to minus i whole power n d power n by d s power n of f of s. So here I am putting n is equal to 1. So I have everything known to me n equal to 1 f of x here is e power minus x square by 2 and what is capital f of s this is given to us right this is given from by putting a equal to 1 by 2 f of s here from 2 is e power minus s square by 2 this is from 2 so i have everything with me 
Now I substitute it in uh, the formula. So what does 3 imply therefore? Therefore 3 implies the Fourier transform of x into e to the power minus x square by 2 is minus i into d by ds of e to the power minus s square by 2. So I simply have to differentiate this once and get the answer. So if you do, do that exponential term differentiation, I am sure we can do it easily. It is e to the power minus s square by 2 into minus 2s divided by 2. So I cancel out the 2 minus into minus becomes plus. The Fourier transform of x into e power minus x square by 2 thus becomes i s e power minus s square by 2. Now this is not self reciprocal I am sure you all agree because of the existence of i in it but it is not self reciprocal but we have now framed this, uh, the answer for it and hence this is the result for part 3. So hence we have proved all the three results showed the Fourier transform of e power minus a square x square by completing squares. That's a new concept that you have learned. In case there, there are uh, people who can do it directly. In case you are not able to attempt it directly by recognizing the square completion, you can use this formula that I have given you and then complete the squares. Remove those terms which are independent of x. Take, make a substitution and use the standard integral formula that we have in definite integration and apply it to get e power minus a square by x square the Fourier transform of it in this manner. Definitely this is not self reciprocal but in this we replaced a square to be 1 by 2 or a to be 1 by root 2 so that we get back the same function but in terms of s and this is the reason why we called e power minus x square by 2 to be self reciprocal. The third part was finding out the Fourier transform of x into the function for which we used one of the properties to get the result and that completes the problem. So I hope this problem is also clear. With this we wind up the video lectures on Fourier transforms. So we have uh, started with the basic introduction in this series lecture series. Then we took up properties which were proved in elaborately and then convolution theorem Parseval's identity theorems were proved and then we took up three different types of problems and this is the fourth one where we discussed what we what are self reciprocal functions gave an example and also proved it in a stepwise manner. So I hope these see these short videos are all useful will be useful to all of you and you will benefit out of it in case of any comments please feel free to comment I would be more delighted to respond to you. Thank you and we shall take up Fourier sine and cosine series in my next video lectures. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless.